But the father did raise his son from the dead. And in less than a month, we will celebrate both the death of Jesus and his resurrection from the dead. James and Melissa, you will pledge to love one another in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health. Because Christ died for your sins and rose to victory over death, joy and sorrow can live together. Does not Paul say in 2 Corinthians that he's sorrowful yet always rejoicing? Does he not say to the Philippians that they should rejoice in the Lord always? And in that same letter, does he not join the power of Christ's resurrection? to the fellowship of his sufferings. Just as Jesus was not raised until he suffered the pangs of death, there are depths of resurrection power that you will not experience until you suffer. And the manifestations of that power will bring you great joy, greater joy than you would know had you never suffered. You were both baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Today you will invoke that same name. And for an ancient Hebrew like Jesus, name denoted both presence and power. You go forth into your life together in reliance on the presence and the power of the Holy Trinity. And you live in life death and the resurrection of Jesus, the Son of God. Come now to the exchange of vows. And as James and Melissa exchange their vows, let us recognize the significance of what they are doing. There are many who disdain such vows. Some who, having made them, rejected them. Some who consider this kind of service to be senseless. Even some who view marriage itself as a relic of the past, which our enlightened, gener uh, liberated generation has outgrown. But if the spirit of the age should concern us, it should also encourage us. There is perhaps now a greater opportunity than ever before for Christian marriage to be seen for what it is, and for a Christian couple and a Christian home to bear witness of telling effect to the secular society round about. So as we hear these vows, that those of us who are married recall the vows that we once made and purpose under God to be newly committed to keeping them. James and Melissa, I ask now that you face each other, look each other in the eye, and repeat your vows. I, James, take you, Melissa, I, James, take you, Melissa. to be my wedded wife, and I do promise and covenant before God and these witnesses, before God and these witnesses, to be your loving and faithful husband, to be your loving and faithful husband, in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live.
to give each other. Bless, O oh Lord, the union signaled by this ring, that he who gives it and she who wears it may abide in your peace and continue in your favor unto their life's end through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Deliver us 